It is your kind of tranquil oasis. Yeah, here, it's right? uh, yeah. I'm very lucky that it feels like I'm very removed, but in fact, I'm 10 minutes uh, from the harbor in Azure. And, you know, able to have property, land, which I always wanted, some dogs, and uh, an attempt of having fruit in the next year or so. And who are these guys? This is Naza from Nazare. This is Stormy from Stormy Weathers. I got Naza when I was struggling with um, my anxiety disorder. And uh, Naza was literally emotional support dog, should have a letter and should fly with me everywhere. And then, really? uh, yeah, and she helped me so much. And then Stormy came and she helped me to be more active. <laughs> and you have a sauna. Yes, I have a sauna. It's good therapy for me when we sometimes spend endless hours in the ocean, my back can get really stiff. So I come in here and, you know, just feel the heat and sweat it out a little bit. It helps a lot. What made you decide on this place? Well, I wanted garden. I wanted space. I would like to have a lot of animals, goats and, you know, chickens and horse and stuff like that. And here the gym. we are. It's small, but it's kind of perfect for what I need. It has um, all the necessary stuff. Yeah, my trainer advised me a little bit. I do a lot of abs. The kinesis is very important. Sometimes I'll come in for stretching, for, you know, breathing exercises. Focus, you just kind of, you know, warm up for a big day or things like that. What else do we have here? We have the, the world record. Oh, there you of, go. Yeah, of 2018. That was that a, was my first world record. A feat to get yeah. recognized. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Uh, online petition with over 20,000 signatures. And where's the other one? The other one never arrived. <laughs> because the other one had uh, more media exposure, was more important. You surfed the biggest wave, man or woman, this past year. Yeah, in 2020. And that was the first in our sport. And that one never made it um, due to COVID or not. not when sure. have they said it's coming? They never told me a date. Ah, it. it might never come. So um, I'm happy with one. This is gorgeous. What's it been like being here for you during COVID? I know I'm very lucky to be spending the pandemic here isolated, but it does get a bit lonely and I just miss the freedom, you know, to jump last minute plane and, and go do something else and um, live a completely different life, you know? And here during COVID, you were allowed to surf some, weren't allowed to surf other times. How did that work? Yeah, we had something very interesting happen in the beginning of the season in October when rules were more loose. We had a gigantic day that people flew from all over the world and there were more than five or 10,000 people on the cliff. It went everywhere, went viral, the images of everyone shoulder to shoulder. We had a lot of difficulties working with the authorities to freely go out and surf. How did you do it? Some days we missed. Yeah. Some days we sat and watched from the cliff and went crazy. How long do you see doing this for? Uh, some days I see myself doing it for a year, then some days I see myself doing it for another 10 years. <laughs> but I feel like right now I don't have like one thing that I'm working towards. Biggest wave ever surfed? Yeah, exactly. I'm not gender? working towards that. No? <laughs> no, not, not, no, not really. Why not? I wouldn't risk my life for it. You know, I'd rather live another day. For me, it matters more to have a second day than to peek at my sport. I'm old. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Not fearless anymore. Why'd you move to Nazareth? I moved to Nazareth because here breaks the biggest waves in the world. Every time I leave the place, I'm like losing my hair because I'm not there. Because if I miss any swell, I'm like freaking out. What do you like about the town? It's quiet, very strong related to the ocean because of the f it's, it is a fishing village. People are very nice. 
uh, a part of my family is from Portugal, so it, I had a lot of their customs in my childhood, like same food, and like my, my grandmother's dad's from here. Explain what makes the wave so big here. Yeah, it's a very unique geography. We have the canyon right in front of the cliff, and that is supposedly five kilometers deep. We get those massive storms come here when they pass the canyon, it's really, really deep. That mass of water just creates almost like different angles when it goes through there and just accentuates the height of the wave. How did the locals respond to no longer having this place to themselves during the winters? They love it. I mean, the little life that brought to this area in wintertime, they were very happy. Lots of businesses were helped, restaurants. Yeah, it used to be, it was always a pretty famous town for summertime down there. I think we get like 250,000 people a day in this beach, like coming by the town. But winter was completely dead. And then with the big wave surfing, it became this balance of like very different tourism, but having a sort of tourism in wintertime and having, you know, the popular beach in summertime. What's it like when you're coming into a big day and you see the crowd all at the lighthouse waiting it's crazy. to watch you, guys? When you When you ride a wave and you hear that crowd, like that's, pretty cool, like sometimes 4,000, 5,000, 10,000 people, and you hear them scream, and it's like you cannot miss it. All right, so where are we? We are in our little space inside the Nazare Harbor, and it's not super organized, but if you see collars are my boards. If you see black, it's Seb's boards. Okay. And uh, why so many boards? <laughs> They're all for different things, really. Um, those are all tow boards that we test. Those are for big waves. So not giant like tow surfing, but you can paddle up to like 40, 50 foot faces. I don't, I prefer towing, uh -huh. um, but I'll take those boards when it's like 30 foot faces and just go out for practices. And here has a lot of the wind equipment too. So if you have one day and you can spend it however you want, whether surfing, foiling, no, wing toe surfing. surfing. <laughs> toe surfing. Yeah, when it's good. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, big day, yeah. Okay. Yeah, big glassy day. Nothing compares when the waves are good and, and big and yeah, when everything aligns in the canyon, I mean, those are the best days.